Hi, this is Scott from RedmondPhysicsTutoring.com, and in this video I'm going to continue from last week's example and calculate the electric potential energy of a system of point charges. So we'll start with three different charges. We have a positive charge, Q1. Down below we had a negative charge, Q2. And then off to the right we had added Q3. And these were all separated by 70 centimeters between Q1 and Q2. Q3 was connected at a point 30 centimeters down and 40 centimeters across. The goal here is to find the electric potential energy. So we have to find UE of the given system. And we have three different point charges, given where the point charges are with respect to each other and the different values that they have. And the key idea is to bring in one charge at a time. When we put the first charge there, that's Q1, before we put that charge there, there's, there's nothing there. There is no electric field. There's no potential uh, function. So the electric potential energy is actually zero of a single charge. So what we do then is we bring in the second charge. Now we can calculate the electric potential energy between these two charges. So I'll call it U12 to show that it's between Q1 and Q2. And we calculate this as KQ1, Q2 over R12. So when I substitute in, and I find that the electric potential energy between charge 1 and charge 2 is negative 0.54 joules. Now I'll just point out a few different things about this function for calculating the electric potential energy of a pair of point charges. There are no absolute bars on here, so it's possible for the potential energy to be negative. Another thing to notice is that on the bottom, R12 is not squared, so this looks an awful lot like what we see for the force, Coulomb's law, but again, R12 is not squared in this case. The third thing to notice is that when R12 approaches infinity, the potential energy between these two charges goes to zero. Now I'm going to bring in the third charge. Q3 is positive two microcoulombs, and it's located a distance 0.4 meters away from the line connecting Q1 and Q2. When I bring in Q3, I need to actually look at the interactions between Q1 and Q3 and Q2 and Q3. I have two different things to look at. So the first one I'll do is Q1 and Q3. So I have U13 is equal to KQ1 Q3 over R13. And I can substitute in and I'll get 0.25 joules. When I solve for the electric potential energy between Q2 and Q3, I have KQ2Q3, and I can substitute in and I'll get negative 0.19 joules. So again, as a quick recap, when we first put the very first charge down, there's no potential energy, no electric potential energy. When we add the second one, then we have the electric potential energy between those two charges. When I added the third charge, then we have to add the interactions between the first one and the third one. And for that one, I found it was 0 0.25. And then between Q2 and Q3, I found that it was negative 0 0.19 joules. In order to find the total electric potential energy of the system of point charges, I need to find, say, the total or the net, which is really just the sum of the individual electric potential energies. So in this case, when I have three point charges, I need to add all three of these interactions. So there's the first one, so we have negative 0.54 between Q1 and Q2. Then when I added Q3, I have to add 0 0.25 and negative 0.19. So the net potential energy of this system of three point charges is equal to negative 0.48 joules. And that's it for this system of three point charges. Now I'm going to really quickly go through what it would look like if you were to add a fourth point charge. I'm going to add Q4 has negative four microcoulombs. In terms of the position, I'm going to just put Q4 in across from Q3 so that it's symmetric and I can just reuse many of the same distances. But since I'm adding Q4, I need to include its interaction with each of the charges that's already there. So we have U14 in red, we'll have U24 in blue, and we'll have U34 in green. So now with the system of four point charges, we have to consider all of the interactions that they have with each other and we're adding them one at a time. When we're adding up the net 
electric potential energy, we have to consider each contribution as we bring them in one at a time. So U net, first we had U12, but then we need to also add U13 and U23. And then we had to add U14, U24, and U34. And this gives us the net final potential energy for this system of four point charges to be negative 0.69 joules. If we had a fifth charge, we would just add U15 plus U25 plus U35 plus U45, and so on with six, seven, and eight. And at this point, the theory is fairly straightforward. You just keep adding the interactions with all of the other charges, but you really shouldn't be asked for even four charges, I think, on a test because the additional charges don't really change your understanding of physics very much. It just requires you to do a lot more math. I'm Scott Redmond, and I help students pass physics. If this video was helpful to you, please like it in YouTube to let me know.